I, I'm just beyond, I'm absolutely thrilled and had no expectation something like this would happen. And I think it really speaks to the friendliness of Antigua and, and it's nice to be appreciated. Wonderful. And your, you know, how did you get involved in yachting? And also what really brought you to our shores and, and what was it that caught your eye to say that the rally should come to Antigua and Barbuda? It's, it's interesting, youth. It's a good question because what, what happened is that our rally for many years, we celebrating the 10th year of our rally this year, was going to the British Virgin Islands and it was a very nice place for sure. Uh, but Brendan and I have sailed everywhere pretty much from northern Maine and northeast U.S. down to Key West in Florida, through the Bahamas, Cuba, and uh, from most of the islands from here to, from really from the American Virgins all the way down to Grenada. And the first year we came down here, we, we went to many islands. And when we came to Antigua, I had no expectation and I really liked it, mostly because the people were so friendly and so supportive. So when the hurricane went through and damaged Barbuda and many other places, Dominica and the, and the British Virgin Islands, we had to do something. And we had many boats that were expecting to go south and they didn't know where they were going to go. So I got on the phone and I started calling a few of the people that I had met at the Antigua Yacht Club and at the Admiral's Inn. And uh, within days, we had a dozen events set up to welcome the fleet. And from then on, Antigua has been our, our target place. This is where we come. That's perfect. And obviously, that's very helpful to our economy here in Antigua yeah. and the Barbuda. Talk to me about the future. Where do you see this going? How much bigger? How much more? What would you say? Well, it's a, it's a good question. How many people will come to Antigua? First of all, it's a big trip. It, some of our boats have taken more than two weeks to get here. The North Atlantic is a tough, difficult time. And some boats really aren't up to the task. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's not for the uninitiated. So as rally director, my job is to make sure that the people who come on our rally are well prepared, and our group does a lot of education. We did almost 50 webinars over the winter to help people prepare. And then uh, the question is convincing them that a place that most have not really heard much about is worth visiting. And so I have made it my mission with articles and, and webinars and, and counseling and one-on-one -on -one to help people understand why Antigua is a wonderful place to visit. What would we, where will we go? I, I uh, Minister Fernandez, several years ago, he comes to our event most every year, which is wonderful. Uh, he challenged me to bring 200 boats to Antigua. At the time we had 30. So given the restrictions of the pandemic and the fact that a month before we left, no one really knew how things were gonna turn out with all the lockdowns and everything else. But I was confident that the plan being put in place by the Department of Health and the Prime Minister was going to really reduce infection in a way that has truly happened. Had we been in a normal year, we might have had 75 votes, which would have been amazing. So my hope is to break 100 next year, but you know, you, you never know. Indeed, thank you so much for speaking with me and mm -hmm. congratulations. Thank again. you very much. It's an honor. Absolutely. <laughs>